Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record smooth and clean looking cinematics with Dolly Cam and Reshade and Rocket League. This is basically how I make all my montages and I just wanted to show you guys. I know I haven't uploaded for a while, I've been busy with school, but I'll hopefully get back to uploading more consistently now. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so to start, you're going to need to make sure that you have Bacchus mod installed. So go ahead and search Bacchus mod and it's this link here, bacchusmod.com and open it, download it. I already got it so I'm going to just let you guys figure that part out. Then after you got that, you're going to get reshade. So look up reshade, install the latest version. I actually have an older version installed because I had some issues with mine. If you have any issues with the video, just join my Discord server. Link will be in the description and I can help you out with whatever you need. So download links right at the start of the page as well for reshade. Now once you have both of those, you're gonna open reshade installer. I don't know if I actually have it. I have an old one, but once you open it, it will give you like a pop-up and asking you what effects you want to install and stuff and you sh it should just automatically work if not then just contact me on discord and i can help you and then you're going to need to op like you're going to want to have both of them open in the background so make sure backus mod is open and updated and you can open your rocket leak with reshade it should automatically start up when you open rocket league and it will give a little pop-up here i have a little older version so it might not oh and i actually currently have a reshade filter on so i'm going to turn that off all right now once you're in you're going to want to go to your replay that you want to record the cinematic on uh uh musty flick one thing that you might find helpful if you're new to replay and dolly cam and reshade is you might you can go to show control and then basically like use the snipping tool take a picture of the controls and put it on another monitor or just like keep it attached to the screen so that you can look at it so that you don't forget the controls because it can be annoying if you forget the controls so Dolly cam only works in fly mode, so you want to be in fly mode when you do it. And I'm going to go with the clip that I want to use. I think it's where the little white check mark is on the bar, so I'm going to go there. I'll just go play review for a sec so I can see this better. Yay. So that's what we're going to make a cinematic of. Okay, so the first cinematic I'm thinking that I'm going to do is like at a point where I'm driving up here. So um, so here, first of all, you're going to need to press F6. That should be to bring up the Bacchus mod console. It might be confusing, but it's a few simple commands that you need to use for it so oh my thing has glitched wait so you're gonna first type exec dolly cam since my thing's glitched it won't let me like actually type right i'm just gonna copy and paste the commands in from there and this will tell you the commands that you need to use which up d on your d-pad on controller is for snapshot take so this is what you're gonna choose like where your camera is which is the most important button basically i don't know if you you should be able to yeah you can use your keyboard as well if you don't want to i don't know if you can actually change the bindings but you may be able to but i haven't bothered to test that out once you got that and you know the controls that you have set you're gonna do dolly cam and dolly underscore activate. I win in dolly. 
If you've used uh, dolly cam before, you're going to want to do dolly underscore path clear just in case. Because if you don't have your path cleared and you start to make another path, it can really like mess up the path and it'll just like randomly teleport somewhere on the map. Once you got that, you're going to do dolly underscore deactivate to make sure that it's not active. And now once you did both of that, you're ready to start setting your snapshot points. Let me get out of the player view. And I'm thinking that I'm going to start a snapshot right here. So I'm going to press up on my D-pad, which is also my scoreboard bring up, but it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to press play and count for three seconds. I'm going to keep counting three seconds every snapshot just to keep the speed consistent so that it doesn't like randomly speed up the like the recording so one two three I'm actually gonna do one thing first <laughs> I'll wait for it I forgot I usually put my speed at 25 or below so I'm gonna do that first as well I'm go one it didn't it Okay, now just pretend like you had it originally here and you press your snapshot now. One, two, three. And then you can move to your next position. I like to press E or Q to rotate my screen because it makes the thing a lot cleaner. Then I'm gonna press my snapshot button again. One, two, three. Next, I'm going to do it right here. Maybe rotate it a bit more. One, two, three. Maybe try something like this. I'll make it a little bit flatter now because it's kind of getting rotated a lot. Snapshot. One, two, three. I'm actually going to rotate it the other way now. I don't know how that's going to look. It might look really bad, but we'll see. And here's where I'm basically, I'm going to end it because I'm, now you can zoom away and you may already see your path there in blue outlining, but if you do not, you can press O on your keyboard and it will show the path. So if you haven't already, you can see if you press P, it goes from like linear to smoothing. Because if it's on linear, it basically shows the exact movement. But when you press P, it will basically average out to make it a lot smoother, which is what you want. Now I'm going to go back to where I no longer see any red on the line. And then I'm going to go to my F6 again and basically do dolly, under, dolly activate. This will activate the path. And then I'm gonna press play and basically view, and then it should show the path. All right, so the rotation looks pretty decent. I am happy with that. Okay. If you're wondering why I do slow-mo, it's as well because when you record, if you have it at slow speed and you speed it up in your editing software, like, or use like Twixter or time revamping, it will make the clip a lot smoother. That's why I record in slow speeds. So this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do another one, which is the goal explosion. So... I have this a plugin on Bacchus mod installed, which is replay item mod. And I'm going to use this to change the goal explosion I have. Because right now I have autumn blip on, which isn't amazing. So I'm going to just use, I'll just use, hmm.
I'll use Hellfire. And if you want this, the link will also be in the description. It lets you change your map and everything so that you can do like green screen effects and like change the map in game. It's pretty cool. All right. Now, now I have Hellfire Goal Explosion. And before you start making your next path, you have to make sure to do dolly underscore clear. Actually, you have to do underscore path clear, which is kind of annoying, but it, it's whatever. Okay, your path is cleared. Make sure by pressing O, nothing appears. Now, I'm gonna wait to just before it hits the goal, and I'm gonna maybe try a side angle like this. I'll start my cinematic here, so up on the D-pad. Oh, I forgot to deactivate dolly cam. If you don't deactivate it, it basically, as soon as you press it, it will freeze your camera there because it's like trying to um, show you the recording where your camera is in the dolly cam perspective and not your perspective, so. Dolly cam deactivated. One, two, three. Maybe we'll move it out like this. Wait a bit more. Take a snapshot. One, two, three. Maybe rise it up a bit. Do that. One, two, three. And the last one we'll put right over here. It's kind of like pans around the Hellfire explosion. Two, three, maybe one more. Line out my camera. Oh, and now you can see a nice smooth line going around the goal explosion. I'm gonna go back until the red line is gone. No red line. I'm gonna activate dolly cam. Okay, it's now activated. Now watch this. Take the path off and that messed up. It should not be showing it there. Okay, I was just glitched. Not bad, it's a decent angle. I don't like, like the consistent speed is something that I'll change once I get into After Effects to like add time revamping so it like quickly swings around and like slows down and just speeds out basically. If you want tutorials on like full editing and After Effects, just ask. If this video gets like 20 likes, then I'll do that. Okay, now I've basically shown you the basics of dolly cam and I'm gonna show you how to use reshade. I probably should have did it in the other order because you want to record your cinematics with reshade on but it's fine you know. <laughs> I'm gonna find... I'm gonna go to a point just for reference I'm gonna go right here and then I'm gonna now... So the command to open up reshade is home button on your keyboard which is over by the number pad next like by the your backspace it should be to the right of that i don't know what your keyboard looks like but it's over there the home button it's right below scroll lock so press that ignore this it's just another thing that uses the same bind it's like a custom map thing and basically reshade the way I like make my uh, reshade is I just kind of start randomly applying effects and seeing what looks good. SMA and FXA I usually put on. Maybe HDR depending on the scene I want. But one of the most important effects you want is light DOF bar. Because you can see this does the blur in the background which is like a huge part of it. Making like cinematics look clean. 
you could go way overboard with it, but I'm gonna just do something like this. Ambient lighting is just something I also like to use. It just lights it up a little better. And adaptive fog is also really nice. So you can see the background, you can change the color pretty much. I'm gonna do like a little nice bright blue. That, I think that's a bit too much lighting there. So I'll just maybe actually focus depth. Oh, thou. Uh, that just blinded me. <laughs> Alepsy warning. <laughs> Once you're happy with what you have, you can just exit out of that and maybe take a little bit of a better look about the view. And as you can see, the game already looks like 10 times better. Like this will really make your cinematics look better and your shots. So since I already have the path from the dolly cam still in, I'm gonna just take a look at how this looks with the goal explosion. You can see a massive difference. Yes, well, some so using reshade can mess up goal explosion recordings, like like using the fog, like you can kind of see through the goal explosion, but it's not a huge deal. That's basically how you use reshade. In the future, I might make some presets. Right here, I have a few that I got from Tornado on YouTube that I was using. So, if you're interested in some presets, T Tornado has a video on YouTube with some presets, which I, these are the ones I got from them. This one here is the one I'm actually using for my upcoming montage I'm making for a video. Anyways, I think that's basically all I have to say for the video. I'll have everything linked in the description that you can use. Anyways, let me know if you prefer this kind of video. It was a little lengthy. Just tell me down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, it would be appreciated if you could drop a sub and a like. But anyways, uh, enough. <laughs> I'll stop taking up your time. Peace out.